Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I will be planning my bullet journal spreads for March. On the community board, I asked you guys to vote on a theme for me to do and the most popular vote was spring. So for this month, I'm doing spring doodles and all pastel colors. Also, there's another giveaway at the end of this video. So if you want to join, please keep watching. But before we get started, here's a flip through of my February setup all filled in. I was really happy with this theme and it made me even happier to see recreations of this setup. It was so nice to see other people use the same layout and theme as me and it's such a relief to know that you're finding these setups useful. If you ever want to recreate some of my spreads and post it on Instagram, please tag us at stationaryisland.uk so we can see and feature your recreations on the next plan with me. So for the setup, as usual, I'm starting with a cover page. I'm just writing March with a grey brush pen and outlining it with a black fine liner to add a bit more depth. Then I'm just adding super simple spring doodles everywhere Anything that reminds me of spring, like flowers, gardening tools, and leaves. And I'm just colouring everything in using my Stationery Island Season brush pens in spring because the colours are very nice and fitting for this theme. Then on the other side, I'm adding my quote of the month, which is wherever life plants you, bloom with grace, which fits my theme really well, but I also just really like it because it's a great reminder to keep growing with grace, no matter how hard or easy life gets. The next page is my monthly log and I'm doing the same old calendar layout on the center of the page, so I could add more spring doodles both sides, and I've decided to get rid of my goals section because I'm going to have a page dedicated to that just after my trackers. I really like adding these doodles everywhere and using pastel colours because my spreads just look a lot brighter and more inviting with them. Next I'm doing my mood tracker. For this one I'm drawing a big watering can and inside the watering can I'm drawing 31 leaves and I'm numbering each leaf to assign it to each day. For this you could even do a simple watering can with water like lines coming out of the holes to represent your mood. So the longer the line is the better you feel. You can definitely play around with this theme a lot because it's so simple and so versatile. So you can do whatever you want, you could even do flower petals or just leave your gardening tools in a toolbox, whatever you want. Then as usual, I have my legend at the bottom. For my habit tracker, I'm just drawing three pots and dividing the pot in 31 squares, which was quite tricky because it's an odd number and the pot isn't a regular shape, but I think I managed all right. And on the pots, I just drew plants to make it cuter, and then I'm adding a label to show what habit I'm tracking. The next page is a more interactive page which I'm going to call plants for the future and it's basically just a goals page where I put all my plans to reach my goal for the month. So on a separate piece of paper I'm drawing four pots and cutting them out to use as a pocket and you know how this works we've made plenty of pockets on this channel. So just to give you an example on how to use this, you're going to need a small piece of paper to write your goal and then the steps you need to take. And for every step you take, you can draw a flower and you're going to want your pot to be filled with flowers by the end when you have reached your goal. Next I have my ideas page which is basically just a brain dump page. So this is just nice and simple, I'm just writing the title and then adding a simple drawing of the watering can with the plants and then a leaf border to frame the page. Next I have my highlights page which I really like doing because I like to look back on the best parts of the month. So for this I'm just writing March highlights and then I'm adding a flower border to frame the page. Thank you. 
and finally i'm doing my weekly page and as mentioned in my february plan with me i'm only doing one page for each week now just to save paper and because i only really need a small section to write all my to do's each day so for my first weekly since the week starts on a friday i'm just drawing a doodle for each day and dividing the page in three and for the next page i'm dividing the page in seven sections and adding a doodle for each day And then I'm just decorating the rest of the two page spread with leaves to tie everything together. And before the flip through I just want to talk about the giveaway. This time we're giving away a new pack of Stationery Island spring brush pens like the ones you've seen me use throughout this video. To enter all you have to do is be subscribed to our channel, give this video a thumbs up and comment what kind of video you'd like to see from us next time. We will announce the winner on our channel's community board, so please look out for that. And here's a final flip through of all the spreads I've set up for March. I hope you found this useful, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and comment your favorite spread down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That's all for now, see you next week.